So it's uh, basically it's just a fire warning level, right? You don't want to be able to taste that chili and sort of appreciate the flavor that you get from it. Also, what I'm going to put in with this uh, salsa as well is uh, a little bit of uh, coriander. So we're going to take a bit of this, and I've got a lovely bag for you, actually. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a nice sort of you know, it's not a nice pinch or a nice sort of hand roll. <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave all the stalks on, you know, a huge amount of flavour in that stalk, you know, right? so you don't want to waste that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this uh, sort of very gently, but sort of as gentle as you can, because, you know, sometimes when people bash out their hood on the chopping board, they get a lovely big green stain on the chopping board. But that's all the flavour in the chopping board, and it's not in your dish, okay? Just going to give that a bit of a smear. And we're going to just sprinkle just a little bit over the top of the salad, and just a little bit. Around the outside of our plate. So, uh, just take a big rip of these noodles. As you can see, I've got a, a pan of hot oil here. All right, I'll put it in the so you can all see there. This is very hot now. What I'm going to do with these, I'm just going to, okay, strip it. And as you can see, they sort of uh, just fluff up nice and white and nice and crispy. All right, so we're going to take them out and we're going to just drain off the excess oil there. All right. <laughs> nice and sort of uh, medium or pink, so to speak, in the middle. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to take this out. I've got this chopping board actually, because the one I used uh, as a raw. Well, I'm just going to take uh, a few nice slices of this lovely beef. And uh, fillet tenderloin is, uh, is probably one of the, the tenderest pieces of meat that you're ever going to be able to buy. Right? So this is going to be sort of a melting your mouth texture when we get stuck into it. So I'm just going to remove the bowl there. I'm going to take sort of three lovely pieces of this lovely marinated beef. And we're going to sit that just on the top there. Okay, put that to the one side for now. And then we're just going to take a few of our lovely sort of crispy deep fried vermicelli rice noodles. And just as a garnish now, we're just going to stick that straight on top of our dish here. And here we have it. This is, this is a, a nice sort of starter, okay, and this is a Thai beef salad. So while I'm just uh, clearing up there, if you all want to just take a good look at that. I hope <laughs> So I'm going to take uh, what I've got here. I've got some basmati rice, okay, which is a nice sort of uh, Asian, uh, not only the Indian rice, but it's going to be a uh, fine for this dish. And I'm just going to, as you can see, I'm adding this to cold water. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring that up to the boil, put the rice in there. And uh, that sort of condenses the cooking time down a little bit because the, the rice, when it's in its dry state, it's going to sort of absorb a little bit of the moisture of the water, which starts to soften up and break down the grain. Uh, we're going to move to a, a sauce for this dish, okay, which is a, a tamarind sauce. I don't know if anybody's heard of the, the tamarind before, the ingredient of tamarind. Has anybody heard of this? Well, I'll tell you what it is. Tamarind is like, um, it's a sort of big sticky fruit. Uh, which, which grows in Southeast Asia. Tamarind paste is going to be a little bit uh, thicker than what I actually want it for. I'm just going to sort of dilute it with a little bit of water, okay? So I'm going to pop that in there. And we're going to bring this to the boil, okay? And what I'm going to bring it to the boil with is, uh, is a little bit of ginger. I'm just going to pop this uh, little stem piece of ginger in there, just cool as it is, okay? Because we want that sort of flavour in there. And uh, also, what I'm going to stick into there is uh, some garlic as well. All right? so I'm going to leave the garlic cool in here as well. Because I don't want, want actually the fleshy parts. So just the flavour, that's all I need. I don't want the fleshy parts of these. Okay, so I'm going to go to our meat for this dish, which we're going to use fish, okay? I have a piece of cod here, which is what I'm going to use. Uh, normally, you can use any sort of white, uh, sort of meaty fish. Uh, hake and sea bass are a very good alternative as well, if you can't get cod, or if you, if you can get cod and you want to try something different, then the sort of hate and sea bass is a good sort of substitute. Okay, uh, so while that's sat here, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to sort of slightly pepper this, uh, just on the top. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cook this, but I'm going to cook this um, sort of presentation side first. And what I'm going to do also, I'm going to leave the skin on this as well, because inside the fish, there's a lot of sort of essential oils in the skin of the fish, and uh, sort of good flavours there, and I want that to sort of just be drawn into the flesh of our fish. Okay, fish off. And what I mean by searing it, we're going to show it the pan basically. I'm just going to show it to the heat. I'm going to cook it presentation side first. And uh, I want to keep this sort of still raw in the middle, but just sort of seared and sort of golden brown on the outside. Right? Just to sort of seal that flavour in. So I'm going to pop that in there, that's going to scale. And we're going to cut this very, very, very thinly. Okay, so we get these wonderful sort of leaves. Right? And, and chunks of cucumber into our hand. 
much yet. Okay. We're going to go back and uh, we're going to take a little bit of our red onion which we've had left over. And we're going to just very finely chop that down. So our tamarind water now, <coughs> if, if you can smell it there in, in the front row, you can smell that a bit chilly in there. And that lovely sort of tamarind sour flavour. That is just about ready now. So I'm just going to let that sit there. And then into a, a nice bowl, I'm just going to put our cucumber. I'm going to put our red onion in there as well. So I'm just going to take a lovely sort of spoonful of this. And we're going to stick that straight on to the top of our fish. Like so. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to pop this in the oven now. Just to basically finish off the sort of cooking process of the fish. We use as a vegetable component for this dish, okay? It's some baby spinach, and I've got some here. So again, uh, with my knife, I cut my garlic just to remove the skin. And uh, we're gonna cut this into, a, into very sort of fine slithers. Okay, so I'm just gonna sort of remove the round end. And we're gonna go very quickly with a chopping knife. And just cut this down into very, very sort of small, uh, very thin leaves, all right? We may finish here. Which has been pre washed. Right. Okay. I'm just going to give that just a quick sort of toss around. And into this now, I'm going to put in some uh, sesame seeds. All I want to cook my spinach, as you can see there. I'm uh, just going to check my pickling solution. Okay, my pick pickling solution is ready. So, what I'm going to do with that, I'm just going to pour that while it's still quite hot, straight over our cucumber and our red onion there into my hands. And what I'm going to do this, all I want is the flavour, I don't actually want the flesh of the ginger in my dish, and this is why I'm doing it. I'm just going to give it a bit of a squeeze, and you see all that lovely sort of juice that comes out there. Leave the sort of stalks in there as well, because those stalks are sort of lovely and tender, and they've got a huge amount of flavour in there. And I'm going to cut these down very gently, and we're going to run that through our rice as well. Okay, so you've got those wonderful sort of fragrances there in that rice, that lovely coriander fragrance that lovely sort of uh, ginger, but also what we're going to incorporate into there as well is also a little bit of uh, citrus zest, all right? So we're going to take some, some lemon zest and pop that in there, and wet, all right? And we're going to take a lovely spoonful of that, and we're going to pop that into our mould. Right here, and then we're going to lift, and it's uh, no good for swimming in either, so... All right, we're going to stick that straight on top there, just remove that. And our fish is nice and ready. And you can see that our fish is ready because the, the flakes are sort of starting to move away from each other. It's still nice and juicy and nice and tender, which is the way we want it. So I'm going to take our fish out of the pan. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to sit that straight on top of our rice and our spinach. To our adyat, our little pickling solution that we have there. And we're just going to uh, just play around with that in our fingers just for a little while in there, make sure it's nicely mixed together. And we're going to take, a, I mean a generous sort of uh, pinch of this, and uh, we're going to sit that right on top of our cod. What we're going to do with this is just we're going to drizzle some of this lovely sour sort of sauce just around the outside of the plate. And we're just going to pop just a little bit over the top of our adyat. And then we're going to sit this just on top as a garnish. How would you eat that? Just dig in. We can do it with a knife and fork, the same as anybody else would, I'm sure. No, but I mean, I don't know. And there we go, that's our main course. Okay. Yeah. So we all find the chef.